Can we all come and take your support to be seated? Be it Vera Sun with the knees together and the feet apart or Swastika Sun. And for today, take your Swastika Sun the other way, not the habitual way of folding your legs. Ask to be a little bit different, releasing the buttock flesh. Grounding the base of the pose. Allow the base of the pose to surrender to gravity. The bony structure of the hips, the legs, the feet, earth, surrendering to gravity. And yet the organic structure of the abdomen easing upwards, the spine lifting upwards, that rebounding action of releasing into lightness and length. In the palms quietly in front of the heart center. Relax the shoulders and ease the neck and the head up and off the top of the support of the shoulders. Eyes to softly close. Tongue to rest passive in the floor of the mouth. Lips full and soft. Create a little smile at the corners of the lips, allowing that smile to melt inwards through every layer of the body coming to rest in the heart center. Allowing a sense, inviting yourself to be seated with a sense of still, quiet dignity. Allowing the breath just to ease in and out of the body. Allowing the chanting of the arm almost as if to flow and follow its own course. Sometimes a little louder, sometimes almost silent. Sometimes slow, sometimes a few within the inhale or the exhale. Sense of allowing that inner resonance of that universal song of all. Bow your head to your heart, making your own inner acknowledgements. Setting up your intention with some help for your practice today, whatever it might be. Maybe a ahimsa, non violence. Maybe a focal point of satya, being truthful yourself in your practice, not needing to push yourself or over strong within the person. A sense of matri or friendliness towards your practice. Whatever that might be for you today. Rest your hands onto your knees, raise your head, gently open your eyes. I'm going to start off this morning with a few rounds of Surya Namaskar and within that salute to the sun, salute to the sun god with 12 different names, we are going to be doing the standing poses. So some of the time my back will be towards you when I step my right leg forward. So please excuse that because equally my front wall, my heart will be towards you as I do the left leg forward. So remove all your props. If you do need 
please take your bricks handy in front of you because we will be doing a couple of poses where some of you might need your bricks. If you need to go a little higher, have your chair alongside you. Do what works for you for today. And come and settle back to begin with, to soften, to open. Addo Muka Virasan. Check in in this first pose of your practice today where there's tension, where there might be niggly pains, where there might be tightness. Acknowledge them. See if in this pose you can give yourself a little space to ease and open through those areas. Where there's resistance, where there's holding, where there's gripping, can you soften there too? That if you come to a state of physical and mental receptivity in your practice, whatever might be. And from there, come up, Ado Mukha Swanasa. Rooting the back of the heels down. So that the balls of the feet are light. Lift your ankles, your knees, your thighs. Get the head of the shin bone back. Move your thighs to the thigh bone. And from there, come forward into Palakasa. Remember the last class where you brought the tail to the pubis, the pubis to the tail. So there's a sense of compactness front to back, back to front, and side to side. From there, for those of you that have the capacity, Chaturunga Nandasa. Otherwise, come into Urpamukha Sansa. Front thighs to back thighs. Press the top of the feet into the floor to lift those front thighs. Inhale, lifting the buttocks, roll back, Adho Mukha Swamasana. Step the feet together. Roll onto your right hand and onto your outer right foot. Vashistasa. Look up at your left hand. Press into the inner edge of your right foot. Roll that left arm over. Vashistasa to the left. Press a little more into that inner left foot to lift the left hip. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, part your feet. Addo Mukha Swanasana. Coming into Utita Trikonasana. Turn your left foot in, step your right leg forward, and come into the pose. If you need your brick, there it is. Otherwise, bring your hand to your shin. For those of you that can, keep your hand to the floor. The chest is open. Turn the whole of your trunk right from your right hip to look up at your left hand. Bring your left arm up and over. Step back. Addo Mukha Swanasa. Left leg forward. In between your hands, turn that right foot in. Utita Trikonasan to the left. Remember, if you need your brick or your hand on your shin. But turn the whole of your trunk so that your left side ribs further forward than your right. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathe. Turn up the leg. Bring your right arm up and over. Step your left leg back. Addo Mukha Swanasan. Come down. Addo Mukha Virasan. Breathe. Come up. Addo Mukha Swamsa. Heels back and down. Front thighs back. The firmness in the legs. Palakasa. Inhale as you exhale. Shaturunga Danda. Inhale, exhale, Ardo Urpamukha Swanasa. Arch a little more. Inhale, as you exhale, Ardo Mukha Swanasa. 
Bring your feet together. Vashisthasana on the right. Looking up at your left hand. Lift everything up into that left hand. Bring your left arm down. Vashisthasana. Coming back to center, part your feet, Adho Mukha Svanatha. Upper arms moving, the shoulders into the shoulder socket. Utita Paj Vakonasan, turn your left foot in, step your right leg forward. You're already in the right angle, so keeping your right hand there, turn to the left, reach with this left hand, taking the arm up and over the head. Get that knee into the upper arm and draw this hip back into its socket so that you can turn the whole of the trunk right to left. Look up. Breathe. Firm up your back leg. Press that outer foot away and down. Bring your left hand down. Get your right leg back. Adho Mukha Use the free flow of the breath. To release any tension. Right foot in, left leg forward. Reach that right arm up. Scoop the left buttocks into the body so you lengthen this inner thigh. Press the knee to the upper arm. Turn more to the right and take this right arm up and over your ear. Firm up that back leg. Press into the outer right foot. Inner right thigh to the outer thigh. Bring your hand down, lift the heel. Adho Mukha Sansa. Part the feet. Roll the shoulders back. Spread your lower front ribs and descend your head. Bend your knees. Adho Mukha. Unison. Gather yourself together. Catch your breath if you find that it's got lost. Bring it back. Smooth, even breathing. Inhale, come up. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Use the breath, sometimes deeper, sometimes sharper, to build up internal energy you know what's coming inhale come up palakasa exhale shatarunda dandasa inhale urpamukha swanasa arch a little more now the back's warming up the tailbone to pubis pubis back inhale adomukha swanasa exhale as you bring your feet together Vashisthasa. Lift arm up and over. Vashisthasa to the right. Lock the elbows, firm up the legs. Right arm up and over. Separate your feet. Adho Mukha Svanasa. As you prepare yourself for Paj Vortanasan, step your left foot a little bit in, take your right leg forward, and if you need to, have your grip so that that upper back is concave. For those of you that can, keeping that concave upper back, take your fingers to the floor. Root that right mound of the big toe down, pull that outer right hip back. Press into your outer left foot and spiral this left hip forward. Come up, step your right leg back. And Keep your left foot in, right foot in, left leg forward. So now you want to, as you root that outer right foot down, spiral this hip forward. Press down in the mound with the left big toe and lift that left hip dynamically up and back. 
Once more, if you need your bricks, if the upper back is rounding, take your bricks, be higher, but keep this space. And from there, extending, moving the whole of the sternum down the front of the body, front of the knee. Open the backs of the knees, firm up the knees. Step your left leg back. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Spread the lower front ribs. Remember the last class. Adha Mukha Come up. Means for those of you if Chaturunga Dandasan creates a lot of tension and there's all sorts of falling out of the pose, don't include it. Come from Palakasan and go straight into Urtamukasana. But those of you that can get into Chaturunga Dandasan, please do it. From there, come up, step your feet together, Vashisasan to the right. Inhale as you exhale, Vashisasan on the left. Arm up and over. Separate your feet. Adha Mukha Swanasan. From here, Paragrita Trikonasan. Step your left foot in. Take your right leg forward, just like you did Paj Vortanasan. Keeping that right hip pinned up and back. Let this left hip spiral in as you bring your left hand across. Connect forearm to shin. That's your fulcrum and turn. Front thighs to back thighs to extend the front of the spine forwards. Breathe. Bring your right arm over. Step your right leg back. Adjust the distance. Right leg forward. And left leg forward, taking your brick if you need it. So now that back leg spiral the hip in by pushing that outer heel down, lifting your left hip up and back by rooting this mound with the big toe down. And turn front thighs, move them to the thigh bone. So the thighs move back, the spine shoots forward. And from that long, spacious spine, turn. And pull your hands down. Adjust your feet. Adamuka Swanasan. The other body is warming up to the pose of Adamuka. Paragrita Paj Vakonasa. Tuck your toes under. Coming up, Adho Mukha Swanasa. Palakasa. Shatarunga Dandasa. Urva Mukha Swanasa. Arch up and back. Bring that tailbone to the pubis. Pubis back and arch from that pole stop. Inhale, Adho Mukha Svanasa. Feet together as you exhale. Vashisthasan on your right hand. Breathe. Vashisthasan on your left hand.
Right arm down, Adho Mukha Sonasan. Paravrita Pajvakonasan. So stepping, turning the left heel in sudden, step your right leg forward. This left heel for today might be up, but lengthen this left arm forward. Make space in these left side ribs as you wrap that outer left upper arm down. Hand to the floor, to your brick. Draw this outer right hip back and turn from there. Remember Sukta Tadasan from the class earlier this week. Lean back. Take your right arm up and over your right ear. Lean into the back plane of the body. Trust that space behind you. And turn. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale, turn. Right hand down, step your right leg back. Breathe if the breathing is being restricted, let it open down. Step your left leg forward. So, drawing that outer left hip back. This hip can spiral inwards to allow the turn. Bring these right side ribs forward. Lengthen those right side roots. Hit this left knee onto the upper arm and arm up and over the ear. Reach as you extend on the inhalation. Exhale, turn. Left hand down. Step your left leg back. Soften the breath to allow the organic body to soften as well. You've rung it up. Now let that new life flush into the organ. Breathe each breath, bringing you to the present moment. Virabhadra Sun, one. Have your toes under. Adho Mukha Sun. Kalakasa. Shatarunga Dandasa, Urtumuka Sanasa, Adomuka Sanasa. Feet together, Vashista Sun on the right hand, right foot. Lift your right hip. Left hand down, right arm up, Vashista Sun on the left. Take the feet apart, Adho Mukha Sanatan. Viva Badrasan, one. So turn your left foot in, step your right leg forward. So you're already in the right angle. Bring the trunk to come up. For those of you with heart issues, stay here. You don't need to go any further. But bring this right leg into the right angle. Draw that outer right hip back. Press into your outer left foot. Tailbone to pubis, pubis to tailbone. Lift the arms and look up. As you descend the base of the pose to gravity, lift the organic body, the front spine up into lightness, left. Bring your hands down. Turn your left heel in, a right heel in, left leg forward. You're in that right angle. Stay there. Adjust the hips. Tailbone. 
pubis, abdomen back, look up. Bring that tail deeply into the body, broadly rest the abdomen back. Lift the back of the abdomen, the front of the spine, up to your fingertips and beyond. Hands down. Adamuka Vinyasa. Come up. From Virabhadrasan one, we're going to be taking Virabhadrasan three. So going forwards into the balance. For those of you that find it difficult, keep your fingertips on the floor, but raise that back leg. Haida Mukha Swanasa. Palakasa. Chaturanga Dandasa. Urupa Mukha Swanasa. Adomukasanasa. Feet together. Vashisasa on the right. Lift up. Look up. Let that energy fly. Lift arm down. Be on your left hand. Stand on your left arm. Height from the shoulder in the shoulder socket. Firming up the legs, the arms. Have a sense of flying. Right arm down. Adomukha Swamasa. Left foot turning the heel in, right leg forward. Virabhadrasan one. Setting yourself up. There are the arms. Lean forward. Press into your fingertips. So the whole of the front of the back body stretches forward, and the back body stretches to your heels. Come forward, Virabhadra Sun, three. Bend your left knee, a right knee, coming up, Virabhadra Sun, one. Hands to the floor. Adamukha Left side. Root that outer right foot into the floor. Elbow in, keep this back and up. Leaning forwards from the stability of that center of gravity. Shoot forwards as you extend from your shoulders back. Stepping back. Do you about the sun? One. Hands to the floor. I go with the sun. The sun. Last dog stretch. Really lift the buttocks. Draw the hips back and up. Lengthen. Give space to the trunk. So that the breath can fill the whole of the body. Bend your knees. Adamuka. Now relax your arms. Rest your forehead on the back of your hands and just let go. Completely. Let the breath deepen for a moment. Make the inhale, the exhale a little longer. Did you catch your breath? Letting the heart rate, if it has um, speeded up in any way, let it settle back to its normal.
Prepare yourself for Shoshasan. For today, I'm going to set the timer for six minutes, and we're going to do one variation of Upavishta, where you take the legs wide like that by lifting the tail and making that connection front to back to get, spread the legs a little more. And then we'll bend the knees, just bring the feet into Baida Konasan, and then straight up again. Those of you that need the wall, please take the wall as you normally do. But if you're using the wall, please be close, right up against the wall. So your fingers are right there against the wall. Don't have a gap because it allows these front ribs to collapse out and pause. We want that same tarasan action. So that the heart center remains soft and open. No need to ever harden the heart in any way. So this will set the timer for us. And when you are ready, interlock your fingers, make a bowl with the palms so that from the elbow to the, the fingers, one curve, there's no sharp cut, one curve. The energy of the left fingers goes to the right elbow. The energy of the right fingers softly curled over the hands goes to the left elbow. Right. Uh, set the timer, six minutes. Please, for those of you that need to come down, do so. Crown of the head to the floor. Broaden your collarbones, your shoulders. Lift your shoulders, your shoulder blades, your upper buttocks. Extend into the heels. If you're coming up with bent legs, please do so. Maybe one of the classes, we must just focus on headset. Part your feet. Lift your heels vertically up to the ceiling. So like two parallel lines from the shoulders through the shoulder blades, through the upper buttocks, through the calves, through the whole of the heel, lift up. Dare to bring yourself a little more into that back body by spreading your collarbones, by trusting that space behind you. Your spine will support you. It is already. Root the outer wrist, the center of the forearm bone down and lift the shoulders. Shoulder blades, upper backs, calves to heels. Now, compacting your outer hips, bring your outer thighs to meet each other. So the inner thighs will in reality want to come together, but can you move them away from each other? So outer thighs in, inner thighs out. Outer ankles in, inner ankles out. Lift the whole of the heel upwards. Find a sense of effortless effort as you spread your lower front ribs, spread your ankle and keep lifting your upper buttocks, your inner thighs to your inner heels, any amount, lift. And breathe. Tailbone to pubis, pubis to tailbone, the abdomen broadly settling back. Now keeping hips compact, turn your legs out and take them as wide as you can. Upa Vishta Konasan. In Shishasa. 
Extend from inner groin to inner heel. Compact your outer hips. Lift your upper buttocks to the ceiling. And as you bring your tailbone in, feel as if you make a hook with the tailbone, lift it that little bit more. So the spine has space. Stretch a little more into the inner heels. And then bending your knees, come into Panda Corner side. Keep pointing up to the ceiling. Extend from inner groin to inner knee. Draw back from your outer knee. Your femur head into the hip socket. Compact your hips. Lift the upper buttocks. Lift that hook from the tailbone. And then press them into your feet, extend the legs up, roll your inner thighs back, pin your inner groins onto the thigh bone, and lift up from those inner groins through the inner heels. There to come a little further onto that back part of the crown of your head. Compacting the hips, press the outer wrists down, lift your shoulders and reach away through the heels. Pause for a moment in Udva Dandasa and then slowly, slowly come down. Just like you were doing earlier on, be in Adamukha Gurusan. Rest your forehead onto your hands. And completely let go, completely. Let go of the shoulders. From there, come up and set yourself up for shoulder stand, Sarvangasan. If you need the wall or your feet to go into half Savangasan, please set your head to face that way. Otherwise, your usual setup of, of maybe three blankets, two blankets, four phones, whatever your appropriate support is. We've done it a few times in this last period, so I think we've all. Got your prop set up by now. Neat edge of your blanket towards where your neck is going to be. Take your bricks and use your bricks as a little launching pad for your buttocks. So that your lower back does not arch as you come up and down, unless your blankets are very big. But do have a support. You can see this is level for my sacrum rather than letting it dip down. More. Your belt as wide as your shoulders. 
So hooking the thumbs right to the outer shoulder. So that, and once more, it's that area that I showed in the last class just above the elbow hinge. So it's there, right below almost the biceps. So it's stabilizing the other arms for you, allowing you to open the chest a little more. Come and lie down, your belt in one hand, and if you can observe me just for a moment before you go into the pose. So first third of the neck, if I make a fist with my hand and I hook my fingers over the edge of the support, the whole of my thumb is going to lengthen and that's where I put my shoulders. So I have a little moving rod. My walls in the way, but otherwise straight legs. And from there into Halasan. And the reason I want you to watch me for a moment is bringing your hips above your shoulders. Take your hands up and over. Press your hands down so that you tuck your shoulders underneath you. So we're already opening the collarbones and the top of the shoulder. Then stretch your arms up. Then you can press your elbows down and lift the shoulder blades that little bit more. So when you are ready, take your support. I'm up, I'm going to put my belt on, and I'll pause here, waiting for you. So take your hands up and over, putting your hands to the floor like you would be doing Udva Dhanurasan, up with both. Tuck those shoulders underneath you and lift your shoulder blades up your back. Then stretch your arms alongside you and stand the top of your shoulders down and lift the front of your spine. Then put your belt on just above the elbow joint. Press your inner upper arms out and your outer upper arms into the support. Your elbows, your shoulders down. And stretch your fingers up. The upper arm supporting you now. Shishas and the forearm. Then take your hands as high up your back as you possibly can. Can you reach with your index finger, your thumb, the base of the shoulder blade? Lift the backwards. Lift the outer hips. Stretch into your heels right from your upper buttocks. Your upper buttocks flow over the buttock bones through the back of the legs, through to the heels, extending into the heels, come up straight legs, whether it's one straight leg at a time or two together. But make your legs straight, it keeps a dynamism in your spine. Part your feet and be back. Give yourself time to find your access, to settle, to be. Breathe. Now check it. How is the base of the face? Root your outer elbow points down. Press the outer upper arms and the top of the shoulders down to lift the whole of the spine. Lift your upper buttocks through your calves to your heels. You can see the heels now. Can you extend the inner heels a little further up? Do that by rolling the inner thighs back and lifting from your inner groins through your inner heels, legs apart. Now, move the bony structure of your backwards away from your hand. Feel how the front thighs want to come forward. Move your front thighs back. Move the middle buttocks in deep into the body, like where your buttock bones are. Imagine two fists there, pressing them into the body. Move the front thighs back. So the backwards, the middle buttocks move deep into the body, but the front thighs, the abdomen moves back. So you find Tadasa and Sarvangasa. 
Now, feel as if you're compacting your hips towards each other. Bring your outer thighs towards each other. Bring your inner knees, your inner ankles, your inner heels to meet. Pin your inner groins onto their respective thigh bone. So the inner thighs move to the outer thighs. The outer thighs move to the inner thighs. The front thighs move to the back thighs. And the back thighs move to the front thighs. Like you're wrapping your thigh bones and your thigh muscles tightly around the thigh bones. And from that firmness, you lift up in and out. Breathe. Keep adjusting the hands as the body opens. Be receptive to the breath, to the changing dynamics of the pose. Back ribs in, middle buttocks in, front thighs a little further back. Find your axis. Find that still quiet space of effortless effort. From there, turn both legs out, 45 degrees, and take your legs as wide as you can. Up the Vishta Komasa. From the inner groins, pinning onto the thigh bone, stretch through the inner heels, making the inner legs longer. Lift your upper buttocks, lift that tail, curl it in, and lift that hook to the ceiling. Long, spacious spine. Backwards in, middle buttocks in, front thighs back. Bend your knee. Your feet into Vada Konasa. Knees from the groins to the inner knee. Draw back from the outer knees, the hips deep, the femur heads deep into the hip socket. Soften your inner groin. Pressing your feet to the ceiling, come up. One last minute in Sarvangas. Feedback. Breathe. See if you can cease the doing and allow yourself to be. Soften the inner walls of the throat. Widen the tongue, the eyes, the inner channels of the ears. Soften the breath. Soften the toes. And extending through to your heels, reach the legs as far away as you can, as with control, you bring your feet to the floor. Reach your arms back for a moment, just interlock your fingers, your habitual way. Press the outer shoulder heads down. Lift the buttock bones, the outer hips. Front thighs back. Breathe. Interlock your fingers the other way. The outer upper arms deepen into the support as you lift the next spine off that support. Breathe. 
to move your boat. Extend your arms back in the way they were, and slowly with straight legs. You can grip your mat if you like. With straight legs, stretch especially into the inner outer heel. Come down. When you reach your launching pad, bend your legs and let your head keep rolling back so that the front of the throat remains open and rest your arms wherever comfortable. Breathe. Roll over to the side, come off your support. And for today, I'm fortunate that I do have the phone, so I know the size. But for today, make a little bolster for yourself. You can, if you don't have phones, fold your blankets and do that with your blankets so that you have a bolster of sorts as high as you would like. And come and lie yourself down on the front edge of your bolster. So the buttocks rest to the floor and your back thighs on the bolster and bring your feet onto your bolster. Let your fingers touch the bolster and tuck your shoulders underneath you. Broadly take your shoulder blades to your bolster. Lift your buttocks and draw your upper buttocks to the bolster and then drape your legs over the bolster. Feel how the shoulders broadly tucked underneath you, how the collarbones broadening and just cascading into the air. Roll your inner upper arms out. And at the back of your middle finger, be the center of the back of your hand on the floor. Soften the back of the neck. Ease it away from the shoulders. Ease the base of the skull up off the top of your spine. Have a deep inhalation. Now have another one. And a long, slow, smooth exhalation. Letting go. Everything. Muscles, bones. Deep inhalation. Hold. Another inhalation, and then long, slow, releasing, letting go. Take that exhalation to wherever there is tension, holding back, tiredness, and let go. One more, deep inhalation. Four, another inhalation. Now long, slow, smooth exhalation. Let go of the skin fiber, the muscle, the bones, the nerves. Let go completely. Keeping your eyes softly closed gradually. No need to rush it in any way. Allow the inhalation to become a little fuller. Just as you focus on your exhalation, the shavasana. Now, as you bring yourself back into this space, focus on the inhale. Drawing that light through every cell in your body. Just five years old. Now 
one by one, draw up your legs so your feet rest on the bolster. Use your arm, right arm over your head and roll to the right, bring your left arm in front of you. Side the breath. Just down with your left hand and come sitting in Sukhasana. Arms in Atma and Shri Mata. Find to ease upwards into lightness and length. yourself to the very center of your being as you close your practice for the day. You have a deep sense of gratitude for your practice. You are Guru, Sayenga, Gitaji, Kasha. To our own inner Guru. With the innate knowing and wisdom this body that allows for all these movements, these postures, this mind that surrenders to quiet and stillness. Namaste.